Alright, so here we are, we are uh, having a look at Windows Mixed Reality um, and we're actually using the, um, the WMR plugin for Steam uh, which sort of enables Steam VR uh, with the Windows Mixed Reality headsets and on top of that we're using the um, sort of the VR plugin for a set of Corsa so it all actually works quite well and um, I've got the headset on now, so um, as you can see, uh, because we're not really restricted by the sensors that you have to have on the roof, you actually have a lot of freedom. Like I could uh, literally move around as much as I like, um, or sort of walk towards the back of the car. My apartment is not very big. I do apologise for the uh, sound quality, but as you can see, um, we can do things like go over here and. Uh, Let's have a look at the front of the car, have a look at the, uh, at the brakes and the wheels and sort of move around. We can do quite a bit here, it might just snap out a bit of one. Yep, there we go. So, as you can see, we can do quite a bit here. Now, I'm going to hop inside the car and notice that... <coughs> where I am right now, you can see what this curved sort of display that sits in front of the driver, which is quite cool. Um, you can sort of have a look at the, through the interior, you can have a look at the, uh, the gauges that we've got up there, that's very E30 like. I mean it is an E30, so um, yeah. it is left hand drive, which is a bit of a pain, but alright. Now, I've mapped the steering wheel to exactly the right spot, so as we get in here, you'll notice that, oh, there we go, taking a seat now, and we'll see that the, uh, all of the apps are where they should be. I'm just going to get myself comfortable here. Um, notice that this is all working the way it should. It's a very odd experience. Um, seeing these arms and it is one to one so as I turn the steering turns exactly how I am on the actual wheel just getting comfortable here so as you can see we've got all our apps here um, I don't have a huge amount of apps running but I do have RSR as you can see there we can get nice and close and have a look at that sort of look to my left and I can see my tires I could Obviously, I can literally grab the mouse, if I can find the mouse, there we are, we have this cursor, and I can grab these sort of things, so if I wanted my tyre wear sort of, you know, right in view, or sort of up there, if I pin that, it sort of goes transparent, and I can have my uh, tyre wear right up there, so it's like really good, but what I might do is actually put it, so there, sort of in my pillar, that's a good spot for it and we can do stuff like um, new virus R up there so it's somewhere a bit easy to see my delta up here so now we've got a pretty good layout okay so now it's time to have a drive now this is a I'm going to get the uh, second or third time that I've actually done this and I haven't really had a good go at this um, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. So, all right, let's. It's very surreal um, the way that you can uh, you can track around the car as it's moving. If I if I want to reverse, I can literally look over my shoulder, have a look at the back seat, for example. Look at the back, and I of course have the rearview mirror. Uh, one thing that I will say that's disappointing about um, a set of courses implementation is that the uh, rearview mirrors are not 3D, so they're just like a static image, which is not not ideal. I, I, it'd be nice to see that in um, in 3D. It looks a little bit looks a little bit odd, but I will just pretend that they are digital screens. Um, okay, so let's, let's head off. Now this is a drift car, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun here, but. Basically, um, and yes, we are entering the track the wrong direction, but yeah. And you 
can see the map actually right there in front of me. But um, actually, let's put this in a bed spot. Let's just I think that's uh, pinned there, or something that. We'll probably put that like you know, sort of right up there if you want, where we can see it. Um, and we'll, yeah, this map isn't working, so unfortunately, there's not much I can do with that. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Um, Somewhere. Okay, cool. <laughs> this way, I have my fuel right in front of me because uh, fuel is very important, as people will know. Now, before I set off, I'm just going to get a feel for the, um, for the steering. Yeah, this is a completely different level of. Uh, completely different level of sort of feedback here like really different I would be very interested to see if I'm better or worse than I am with a monitor but straight off the bat um, these WMR headsets like this um, I'm using the Dell one at the moment the resolution is slightly higher than the 5 and one big concern about these headsets is that the um, the response, like the the tracking, is not very great. But I will say um, straight off the bat that the tracking is as good as the Vive. Um, I'm not seeing any latency at all. Very fast. I'm not feeling ill. Anything like that. Um, yeah, really good so far. So um, awesome. So okay, let's uh, let's get going here. Do some skids. I really like the placement of that, so I'm just going to move that out. Put that back down here somewhere. Out of the way. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't know how much you can see on the screen, but um, I'm guessing you can see everything that I can see. Interesting. The first thing I notice is that um, you have this sort of you can you can really get yeah, like this sort of depth perception. I guess that comes from the 3D of the um, of the display, but of the uh, of the VR. But I can really see where the front of the car is and the rear of the car. And actually, it's a little bit I wouldn't say frightening, but it's a little bit more uh, prominent um, that you're gonna come up close to the wall so hopefully that's good for sort of combat when you're battling away with people you can sort of get together a bit closer and stuff that'd be really nice um, really cool All right, let's see how we go now I'm not I haven't really driven this track or car for quite a while but now we can go here trouble judging. I don't know if it's just because it's sort of something new. I usually get into the swing of it after a couple of laps, but right now I'm having a little bit of trouble judging speed, but I think it's because it's so different to what I'm used to. I, know, I think I'm in the swing of it now, so... to the inside view so I think what we'll do is I'll give it a go I'm gonna to bounce to the outside view okay that's interesting it's not the view that I was after actually I was after this view um, okay that's really weird like I'm sitting on the bonnet but the VR still works which is cool this is more what I'm used to so let's give this a go Oh, that obstructed view. 
Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try again. drifting in AR and VR, so I think I'll get used to it over time. It's a little bit, a little bit more, uh, just to jump back to the, oh, that's, oh wow, that's awesome. So this is the view without the steering wheel. So all the views are here. And that's the steering wheel view. So I literally can't see anything because of the uh, cracked screen, screen. But... I can't wait to jump in like a really uh, decent race car sort of thing. or something fast, I think it'll sort of open top sort of car, open wheeler, will be pretty, pretty good I reckon. Ah. Okay, so that's a quick look anyway, let's just jump back out to that view because I think, oh wow, it's like completely third person, that's, that's really weird. That is really weird. Wow. Completely sort of different to what I'm used to. Yeah, so anyway, so that's... Whoa. That antenna though. So... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so anyway, that's the uh, that's just a quick preview of um, a set of courses VR support. Um, I would say that I wish it saved the uh, the calibration because the calibration is not going out of whack; it's perfectly dead on. But every time I start the game, I have to recalibrate it, so it's not really recognizing where the steering wheel is. I can kind of understand that it's a hard thing to to calculate because cars are all different and uh, but I think if the middle of the steering wheel was always the middle of the steering wheel um, or sort of like a generic distance between your VR headset to the wheel I think it'd be a bit better but um, it's a small thing having to recalibrate like you just press a couple of buttons and um, it's pretty much done so anyway that's um 
That is a Seto Corsa with Open VR using Steam VR and the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So um, yeah, that's it. Really painless to set up. Um, surprisingly painless to set up. I've done all of this stuff before with Vive, and um, I had the Oculus DK. Um, I've tried Track IR and all that sort of stuff, but this was super simple to set up. I really love the way that it works. Um, it's even got a sensor in the headset when you take it off. Um, you know, you can basically use the desktop. You put it back on, and it recognizes that your head's in there, and it launches back into VR. Um, it sort of disables you from like you know if you move the mouse and click it doesn't actually click on the desktop and locks it to the game which is pretty cool so um yeah just having a bit of a look around but the only thing i wish is that it could track your hands and your feet and stuff like that but uh yeah that's 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 that thanks for watching